Hello and welcome to another Itelos uh, screencast. My name is Ahmed Betelmal and I'm the Chief Product Architect here, here at Itelos. Um, in this video, I'll show you how you can install, uh, configure, and submit LAMP based apps on the EAS platform. So, going to the uh, Itelos Marketplace, I'm going to search for the word toolkit. And uh, here are the toolkits that are available. Uh, I'll choose the MySQL edition uh, toolkit. You can read more information about the toolkit here. I'm just going to add it to my uh, my cart. And uh, here we have the uh, MySQL edition in my cart. Let's check out. And uh, let's just accept the uh, agreement. And here's the app that's being installed. In. And it takes about uh, five ten minutes for the app to install. Uh, when it's done, you just come here and uh, click on the uh, get started link. Uh, the getting started page contains all the information that you need to uh, access your uh, app in this case it's a dev toolkit so um, the first thing you will need is the link to the actual uh, development toolkit uh, along with that you'll see the uh, the username uh, that you need to log in with and the password the last link here is the uh, svn and webdav uh, link which is very important for editing with the external uh, editors um, for now, let's just go to the uh, uh, EDK. Here's let's take our password with us. We need to log in. Um, here is EDK. Let me enter EM mine and uh, the password. Um, this is uh, EDE. It's a web-based uh, uh, editor that we developed here at Itelos. Um, let's just open uh, the index file, and inside you'll see the code for the index file, which you can edit. Um, we'll just preview the file. And here is uh, what's on the website right now. And uh, this is the uh, full URL to uh, your website. Going back to EDK, we'll see there's a few tabs that we'll use uh, for integration, uh, synchronizing apps, uh, package distribution, and a few utilities for development. Uh, some of those are Subversion, Web SVN Access, and uh, PHP MySQL for editing your database. But uh, I'd like to show you something about EDE itself here. Uh, you can just add a file. Uh, pretty quick let's call this one um, test dot php uh, let's create it uh, so you can use this uh, editor to actually work on your website uh, let's edit the file test.php and put some um, code in here Print hello and let's close it up okay All right, uh, let's preview this page, and there it is. Uh, we just create the file. It's uh, live on the site. Uh, let's make sure that it's really live. We'll change it, save, and preview. There you go. Let's change it one more time to be uh, traditional. Hello world, and there you go. Uh, one thing I'd like to show you is something like uh, Time Machine on, on a Mac. You can go back to each version, since this is based on uh, subversion here. Uh, here's a, an older version and uh, uh, slightly uh, younger version, and the one pretty much that we're at right now, current. There you go. I must, however, stress that Etelos does not lock you into this interface or any other interface, actually. So let's go back to the. Uh, getting started page and uh, we'll show you how you can access your code using uh, your own tools. Let's start with uh, WebDAV, so I'm go down here and get that uh, important URL that I told you about. That's the SVN uh, access, it's also a WebDAV access URL. On Windows they're called uh, web folders. Uh, I'm using a Mac here so I'll just uh, connect to a uh, server and put the URL and connect. I'll bring up my uh, authentication here. Uh, let me get the password. I don't know the username. One, and that's the password. I gotta type it. Uh, as I said, Windows already has this uh, feature also. It's called Web Folders uh, from your Internet Explorer. Let's get it here. And uh, here it is the, the actual files that we were working on uh, in EDE, and that's our test file. Um, let's go ahead and edit it using uh, TextMate. And here is the code we just uh, created online. Uh, I'm just going to modify it here from text, um, TextMate. And 
save button and now it's uh, saved all the way through. Uh, let's close and uh, I'll eject this uh, web dev folder for now. Okay, um, let's go back to uh, EDE and look at the file that we just um, edited and here it is. That's uh, our modification. Let's open it on the preview. There it is, uh, TextMate uh, all the way to the website. Uh, but uh, as, as I said, you can use uh, your own uh, editor if you want. So uh, here I'm pasting the uh, SVN checkout command into a terminal. I'm just going to check out the files directly to my desktop. Let's enter the password. I remember it correctly. And these are the files uh, directly on my password uh, on my uh, desktop. I'm going to edit the file here locally. Again, using mate test.php. Textmate again. We'll save. And the way SVN works is that you have to check in uh, your uh, or you commit your uh, changes um, explicitly. So I'll just put a message here testing. And this is just a message to, for the log of what I changed in the files. And um, transmitting, and it's up there. Uh, let's go back to uh, file. And you'll see uh, it changed as expected, and here it is all the way to the live website. Uh, so you can see you can either, you could have used Nano VI or Emacs or even Notepad to edit your website. Uh, we don't lock you into uh, any paradigm. Uh, for our demonstration, we'll be uh, using uh, C oh, Sugar CRM. I'll go to their website. Um, they're an open source uh, CRM package that runs on PHP and MySQL. Uh, let's go to download. Go to the download page and get their uh, community edition. Uh, download the zip file. It's over here on my desktop. And here it is. Now all we have to do is copy these files over um, to our web dev or, or, or SVN, or whatever uh, method suits you. I'm gonna connect again to my uh, web dev connection here. Remember the username and the password. Remember it this time. And here are our web files. All I have to do is drag them over. So um, let me just move this thing around. Select all. And drag and drop. Exciting as it may be, I'm sure you don't want to see files being uploaded in a demo. So uh, I'll fast forward this clip. There, uh, our files are uploaded to uh, our website. And here are all the files from uh, the Sugar CRM uh, distribution. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, let's go back to the uh, website and actually see what we've uh, just uploaded here in uh, EDE. Uh, the rest is pretty much app specific as far as the uh, required configuration that each app needs uh, for Sugar CRM. Uh, we'll just uh, open up the, uh, the main page. Let's go preview and here it is this is the, uh, the page let's go through the installation process <clears throat> as I said this is specific to sugar CRM I mean your app uh, can be much simpler uh, sugar CRM requires a few uh, setup uh, parameters uh, except next uh, typical install a MySQL installation and uh, we need the uh, database credentials. Now, uh, that's where we go back to that info um, page that I told you about. The info tab it has all the information that you need for your account. Um, go back to our URL here. That's the database name. Uh, we'll copy that over. Uh, the host is local host. Database administrator, uh, the username. Here it is. Copy that over. Let's go for the password. Copy that over. All right. And hit next. I accept. I'll put in a username, uh, a user pass, uh, a password for the admin, the sugar admin. <clears throat> and hit next. And let's go through that one too. Install. All right, install uh, installation is uh, pretty much done. 
Let's give myself a, a first name and last name and an email. I think uh, this is required for their registration only. You really uh, don't have to do this piece. Uh, let's see here. Um, yep, that's right. You don't have to. Let's go next. Thanks. All right. So this is Sugar um, installed and then ready to go. Let me log in. And the password. Not now. Um, first time I log in, I set the uh, time zone, and uh, this is Sugar running on the account. Now, notice I did not change anything in the Sugar uh, installation. Uh, let me check the file that I uh, created earlier, the test file. Uh, just make sure that it's still there. Uh, this could be your modification to the Sugar distribution if you want. Um, put uh, any any kind of feature that you want to add. So um, let's go back to EDE. Uh, our files are all there. Uh, let me package Sugar CRM and post it to the uh, marketplace. Now that I've added, you know, my test page, an extremely uh, interesting feature. Um, I'm log in with my uh, username and password for the uh, marketplace. Put in my username. I'll put in my password. And let's log in now. Okay, you can uh, package the whole app, or you can package uh, an update to an app, like uh, small little plugins or features. But let's do a full app. I want to call it My App. Packaging and uploading time varies, but it eventually makes it to uh, My Apps section in uh, in in My Marketplace uh, account. We'll go in and uh, we'll see that I pre-uploaded the app. Uh, here it is, My App. And here you enter some basic info about your app and continue through adding uh, a getting started page for your app this time and submit for approval. Uh, and you've just seen how much fun it is to install, configure and submit a LAMP based app on the AS platform.